The hardest part is getting started. It is. That's the hardest part. There's a lot of people who are really good at planning, and that's great. But you have to get started. In this video, I'm going to give you a strategy, a technique that you can use right away, immediately after watching this video, and you can apply it to your life, and it will help you. It will help you get started. I, I guarantee it, it will help you get started in whatever it is you're trying to do in your life. And it doesn't matter if you're trying to learn math. It doesn't matter if you're trying to learn to be a programmer, learn a new language, get a job, whatever, build something. What, it doesn't matter, get in shape, anything. It's going to help you take action because it's very easy to sit here and plan and think about the past, right? So I can sit here and think about the past, and that's great. I mean, I could be reflecting on some things. I might have some good things in the past, some bad things. Maybe I was happy. Maybe I was angry. Maybe I was sad. Maybe I was motivated. Maybe I was not motivated. Right? We all have different feelings. So we reflect on experiences. Or I can sit here and plan for the future, right? Hey, this is, I'm going to take these steps, and these are the steps I'm going to follow in order to learn math. Or, hey, I'm going to watch this video. It's got five steps for learning math. I think I have videos like that. And they, they are helpful. But I'm not saying you shouldn't plan for the future. And I'm not saying you shouldn't reflect on the past. Both of those things are useful activities, right? Because you can't get there if you don't know where you're going, right? I always think about that. I had a teacher tell me that once. Someone was trying to prove something, and he said, you, you can't get to where you're going if you don't know where you're going. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Math teaches you to think. I, I highly recommend you study mathematics. So we basically have these three states of mind. We have the state where our mind is in the past, the state where our mind is in the future, and the state where our mind is now. Well, that's the present. And the reality is, your decisions that you make now, that's all you can control. Your actions right now, at this very moment in time, right now, that's what you have control over. And that's important, because if you're trying to do something, realize that what's, what's needed? Action. You have to take action. And the only way you can do that is by actually doing that, by being in the present and realizing, hey, I got to do it. I got, you have to have a sense of urgency. It needs to be created. And one way to create that is by realizing that your mind can only be in those three states, right? Past, future, present, right? Past, future, present. Focus on the present. That is the trick. That is going to allow you to lock in and get stuff done. And again, I, I want to emphasize that I'm not saying it's bad to reflect, right? But there's time for reflection. There's time for planning. And there's time for action. And you have to make it a priority to make time for action number one. It has to be the most important thing in your life. And I think that's true in for most things in life, right? If you're, if, if you're in college and you're in a class and you have homework, lock in, knock out that homework, make it inconsequential, destroy it, be present, do all 50 homework problems in one day, blow them out. You can do anything when you lock in. You can do anything when you realize that your mind only has these three states, right? The past, the future, and the present. And it's good to have all three states because if you work all the time and you're always, you're gonna get tired. It's gonna get uncomfortable. But remind yourself, what are you trying to do? You know, this is why I always tell people it's really good to have really big goals. You gotta have a big goal. You have to dream big. Pick an unrealistic goal. 
because that will keep you working when you are tired and you don't want to work. Okay? That's, I think that's the best way to live life. I don't know. Anyways, this technique can help you. So after you watch this video, after this video is over and you click X, I want you to think about that, okay? Whatever it is you're doing, try it, try it. Like if you, if you have to do math or something, just think about it. Think, hey, I can think about all the homework I have to do. I can think about the fact that I don't want to do it. <laughs> That's the future. <laughs> or, or I can just do it, right? You can, you can just do it. Or other things like, oh, I really need to wash my car. You know, I just, oh, I don't like washing the car. You can, you can think about it, or you can just do it and get it done. So you have these, these, these three conflicting states. And yeah, hopefully this can help you. Hopefully it can help you. And again, you can apply this to anything. I should probably give credit where credit is due. This is not my uh, line of thinking. This comes from the great philosophers, from the Stoics. I, I believe, uh, I think it was something in uh, one of Marcus Aurelius' books. Marcus Aurelius was a great Roman emperor, and uh, he wrote a book called Meditations, and I believe this, this thinking is from that, although it might have been from Seneca. I don't know. I'm not an expert on you know, the sources. I, I don't recall. I'm pretty sure it's Marcus Aurelius. But the idea is that, the idea is that you know, all we have is now, right? We have the present. We have our actions. The past is the past. The future has yet to come. If, you're, if you want to do something great, pick an unrealistic goal, think about the present, focus on that goal, and get it done. And it doesn't matter what it is, right? It doesn't matter what it is. Remember, you can do anything. I want to leave you with that. Okay, because this was meant to be a short video, and I think I'm running out of time, but you can do anything. So if you want to be a doctor, you can be a doctor. If you want to be a lawyer, you can be a lawyer. If you want to, whatever it is you want to do, right, try to do it. Because if you don't try, you've already failed. And an easy way to get yourself to do it, use the technique in this video, right? You're in the present. Get it done. If you want to learn math, right, this is the Math Sorcerer channel. I do have courses. They're math courses, and they're on Udemy, which is a reputable place to have courses. So if you get them, use my links from the description of this video because I've lowered the prices and it helps me greatly. Also subscribe, like, share if you want to. Uh, if not, that's okay too. But I think the key takeaway from this video should be that, you know, use this trick. If, if, you're, if you're procrastinating, this is going to get you to like not procrastinate. I, I think it can help you. And again, it's due to, uh, don't give me credit, give, give credit to, to those great philosophers. If I remember, I'll try to leave a link to some good philosophy books uh, in the description in case you want to check them out because they have, you know, they talk about stuff like this. And if you enjoyed this video, you'd probably enjoy those books. As always, good luck to you. Keep doing mathematics.